Hello everyone, welcome to the RoboMaster online course. This series of video course covers robotics and artificial intelligence based on RoboMaster S1. Robots receive a lot of attention when they came into existence. And after almost 100 years of development, modern robots are now being found in lots of places in our daily life, such as robotics arm in manufacturing and vacuum robot in house cleaning. Well, actually, RoboMaster S1 is also a robot. It features an online directional chassis with magnum wheels that can move in basically any direction. S1 robot can not only fight a battle, but also perform visual identification and applause recognition. In this lesson, I'm going to give you a brief introduction to the robots from three parts. The history of robots, the classification of the robots, and the main components that make up the robots. After we have a basic idea of what the robot is, I will talk a bit about our RoboMaster S1 robot and what we can learn out of it. As a matter of fact, robots have existed for less than a century. This timeline shows the evolution of robots. According to this timeline, the evolution of robots can be roughly divided into three stages. The origin of robots in the 1920s, the fast development of robots in the late 20th century, and modern robotics in this couple of years in the 21st century. In 1920, the word robot firstly appeared in a work of science fiction entitled Rossum's Universal Robots. In this book, a robot was described as an industrial product that is designed to perform arduous tasks. This robot is untiring and doesn't need to eat and sleep. Well, this is the origin of the word robot. In 1973, with the rapid development of sensor technology, the functions and structure of robots underwent significant changes. The first electric six-axis industrial robot was developed which convinced people that robots could help human beings address real issues that arise from production and improve efficiency significantly. In 2017, Boston Dynamics showcased Atlas, a humanoid robot which can almost perfectly perform human-like movements such as running and jumping. Nowadays, artificial intelligence has helped robots move into a new era. The robots are becoming more and more intelligent thanks to the advanced AI algorithms. Well, above is the brief history of robots. And in recent days, there are various kinds of robots out there. So how do we classify these robots in different forms? We can roughly divide robots into industrial robots and specialized robots. Industrial robots refer to multifunctional, multi-degrees of freedom machines that can perform certain repetitive operations. They are typically used in industrial production to perform automated welding, assembly, and handling. The industrial robots boost the production efficiency of manufacturing plants. Specialized robots include all types of robots other than industrial robots, including service robots and entertainment robots. Compared to the industrial robots, specialized robots are more widely used, more highly automated, and more adaptable to working conditions. So what do robots have in common? In fact, each robot consists of three parts, a controller, sensors, and actuators. For better understanding, we can compare the structure of robot to a human body. The controller is like the brain of human. We all know that the brain is the center of nervous system, and a vast number of processing are undergoing at every second. Similarly, a controller on robot processes the instruction and sends the signal to instruct the robot how to react and move. Sensors are like the human sensory organs. Apparently, we sense the outside world by our eyes, nose, ears, and Skin. Well, sensors on robot can sense environmental changes and transmit information to its controller. Actuators are like the limbs of the human body. It is obvious that we can't move without our arms and legs. It is the same for robots. They cannot do any action without their actuators like motors, you know, the device that can convert energy into mechanical work. As a robot, S1 also has these three core components. For example, camera is the sensor. Motors inside the gimbal are the actuators. And two controllers are located at the back and at the top of the gimbal. So the coordination of these three parts allows the S1 robot to perform specific actions. For example, if we want S1 robot to follow a visual marker, when we run the program, S1 will obtain information about the marker through the camera, which is the sensor, and the transmitted information to the controller. The controller will then calculate the difference between the current position of the gimbal and the position of the visual marker, after which the controller will process the info and send the instructions to the motors that drive the gimbal to the right angle to reach the right position. Above mentioned procedure is an example of how the different parts of robot coordinate. Now I believe you must have a deeper understanding of robots than before. 
let's take a look at the different components of S1 robot and what we can learn out of S1. We have three main streams to study, the mechanical structure of S1, programming, and artificial intelligence. In terms of the mechanical structure, we're going to learn about the mechanisms of different components of S1 robot, such as the magnum wheel, the gimbal, and the blaster. For example, we're going to find out why can four magnum wheels work together to help S1 to achieve omnidirectional movement. In terms of programming, we provide you with nine projects based on S1 robot and the road to mastery of the app. You can follow the instructions to complete the projects, or you can create your own programs or custom skills with different combinations of the blocks. In terms of the artificial intelligence, we can program the S1 robot to perform tasks such as detecting the pedestrian, tracking visual markers, and following a path. So in this part, we are going to explain to you how the S1 robot obtains information from images and analyze it, and how to use identified information to control the robot. In 2007, Bill Gates also gave his opinion on robots. Here and now quotes. In the next 30 years, the development of robots will follow the development of personal computers. Just as every household has a computer now, every household will have robots in the future. Doesn't matter what robots will look like, what matters is they will bring about significant changes to our lives. Through this video course, I really hope you can learn some knowledge of basic robotics and artificial intelligence out of Robemaster S1. This is the end of this lesson. I will see you next time.